Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 best brawlers in the game right now and the best brawlers to counter those specific brawlers. So I do this every single season just to try and give you guys a little bit of a heads up with the meta so you know what to really go against them in Power League specifically, but also on ladder as well if you're having a tough time facing off against these brawlers. So we're going to be starting off with the best brawlers in the game this time around, switching it up to keep you guys on your toes. So starting off with the best brawler in the game, completely broken right now, Kit, and the best ways to counter Kit. So the number one counter, in my opinion, just has to be plain tanks. Main reason being because if you use your super onto a tank, an enemy tank, of course, you can't kill them because you're really squishy and you don't actually do that much damage with a super. Typically, you want to use your super onto squishy brawlers, so you're never going to be able to finish off the kill unless, of course, your teammates, multiple of them, take down the tank quickly. And, of course, as well, when you're using your yarn balls instead, 4k damage, that's going to destroy squishy opponents, but not tanks. It's still going to take you two free shots to kill them. So tanks are definitely the best counter to kit, in my opinion. And then a couple more, as you've probably seen in a different video, I think Charlie is a fantastic counter to kit but mainly the best asset to kit which is the support function because what you can do is you can cocoon the tank and separate kit from the tank so then once kit is unattached it's pretty easy to take kit down so that's why i love brawlers like charlie and cordelius for that reason so definitely a few avenues to counter kit but at the same time nearly impossible so jumping into the next brawler we're looking to counter it is Bo. he's been destroying the meta right now and the best brawlers to counter him the first one is going to be miko so i really like miko against Bo specifically if you got that monkey business star power ramped up you should be able to free full shot Bo pretty easily because you can just jump over his attacks and Bo doesn't have that quick unload speed in that 1v1 scenario to really win it and against bow you kind of typically need a fast movement brawler because bow's main attack can be dodged quite frequently but at the same time you don't want to get in range of it so miko's just really good at kind of winning that battle the next brawler again is going to be edgar because bow can't really defend himself too much against brawlers that are on top of him so the best one of the best brawlers in the game and edgar is a fantastic counter to him sometimes you just have to counter the meta with meta brawlers and that's specifically what you've got to do against Bo. and the next one is going to be leon so i think Bo can do decent in that kind of mid-range battle but again just because leon can get that increased movement speed with the hyper charge and just be pretty sneaky overall and get closer to Bo, he can win that 1v1 pretty easily so i think that's quite a few good counters to both into the next brother we're looking to counter it is Maisie she's just been running all over the meta right now pretty hard to counter fully but here's a few options for you so the first one is going to be Stu so you kind of guess that with Stu you've got good mobility and against Maisie you kind of you know open your eyes in a sense and you can dodge a lot of her main attacks but not only that you can just use the super to dodge a lot of the main attacks pretty good also for dodging Maisie's combo so that's why I like Stu really good at kind of wasting Maisie's utility the next one being Janet so I just think Janet's kind of got the similar range to Maisie you can wall peek better as a Janet as well and not only that you know for example if Maisie does get into that combo range then at least you can use your super and defend yourself against it I just think Janet has a decent matchup against Maisie. I won't say it's a hard counter, but I definitely like it since that Janet buff. And then the last one is going to be Bose. So sometimes with really broken brawlers, especially when they've got a hyper charge, you have to use the meta to beat the meta. And that's exactly what you've got to do with Bose. So Bose pretty good because you can open up the map with the mines. And of course, you can outrange Maisie. She hasn't got the longest range in the game. And just, I think, in that mid kind of battle, I think Bose will just destroy Maisie in a 1v1. So next up on the counter list, we have Cordelius. And you know right now that he doesn't really have many bad matchups because he's got a lot of utility, good gadgets that can get him out of tough situations. But here is a few brothers which I probably already mentioned in the past. But it's a good refresher. So first one being Stu. I still feel like Stu is a fantastic counter to Cordelius just because when you're in that shadow realm Stu can actually do pretty decent against Cordelius because he can't really just run into a Stu he has decent damage with those two attack projectiles I don't know it's not really the best matchup for Cordelius and of course you can dodge Cordelius's super with your super as well as a Stu just pretty good interactions overall next one just being Spike I just think Spike can be pretty good against Cordelius with curveball in the shadow realm not only that you've got the life plank gadget that can tank a few shots against Cordelius overall it's just an okay matchup I wouldn't really say you're hard counter Cordelius but definitely a good matchup in your favor and then lastly there's a couple which is going to be Tara and Charlie so both of these brawlers of course waste 
ammo from Cordelius. He does have a fast reload speed, but still, just the Spider's gadget and the support from Beyond can give you a little bit of time. So then Cordelius is shooting the pets. Then you can take down Cordelius with your super and you know that's an okay interaction for you so next up on the counter list we have fang and he's been annoying everyone at the moment but here are some definitely big shutdowns to fang they are pretty meta brawlers and the first one is going to be i would say cordelius so cordelius is a fantastic counter to fang because you can literally just stop his super so if fang's about to dash onto you, you can just interrupt it with your super and take him down pretty easily and also waste his hypercharge as well so i think that's just a good interaction you can also jump over fang's super and you can even mute fang as well whether you use the other gadgets so i think cordelius is definitely a good shutdown to him the next one being charlie i think charlie's the best counter for sure because again if fang wants to dash onto you you can just literally super him interrupt his super he gets no value and you remove 25 percent of his hp and of course the spider's gadget as well it wastes a lot of ammo from fang so i think charlie's definitely the best shutdown 100 percent the best counter and then lastly i went for jackie so I'd say the odd moments you can, of course, outplay a Jackie, but at the same time, you don't really want to ever be supering on top of a Jackie because she'll just win that interaction with Counter Crush and especially with Hypercharge as well. So, yeah, you don't want to be supering on a Jackie anytime soon. So, next up on the counter list, we have Leon. So, brand new brawler in the meta, not been meta for about a year now. But I think the same counters are still very apparent from years ago. So the first one, of course, being Crow. Just in that mid interaction, Crow's just going to get a lot more consistent damage. And he'll land his shots a lot more easier as well. And of course, not only that, the poison will counter his invisibility. So by far the best shutdown to Leon if you look for a, a fantastic counter. The next one being Stu. I've just always liked that interaction from years of competing. I've always seen people pick Stu into a Leon. It's just really easy to hit Leon with Stu's main attack. And of course, I don't know, there's just something about it that makes it really easy for Stu to win. He, of course, got his super as well. If Leon gets really close to you, you can use your super to get away as well. A lot of favorable interactions for Stu for sure. And the last one, it's going to be Tara. So again, I just really like Tara because she's got defensive capabilities with her gadget, can waste some Leon shots. Not only that, you've got the super. So if a Leon catches you by surprise, you can easily just super him a little bit further away from you and take the Leon down. So those are some good shutdowns to Leon. So next up on the counter list, we have spike and i would say the same counters apply from years of playing this game so the first one is going to be mr p so of course spike doesn't have the quickest reload speed and those porters are going to be really annoying for spike to face off against and of course spike being squishy i think mr p will always have the upper hand onto him because mr p just plays so well into squishy brawlers i think just everything about a matchup is really hard for spike to win over the years of competing it's always been a favorable matchup next one of course being sprout so again spike being super squishy sprout being able to free shot squishy brawlers it just makes sense it's a brawler say for example if i'm playing back your bowl i'm facing off against spike i'll more than likely look to play a brawler like sprout because it's just an easy lane win and then the last one is pretty much any high damage sniper but in particular piper so that's one brawler i always look for especially when i'm playing power league is to go that big sniper against spike of course you can two shot him he's so squishy and that's why again i'll never draft a spike into those snipers because it's just an easy shutdown you can easily keep your distance against the spike so next up on the counter list we have rosa so she's been running the meta for months and months now and she's still insanely strong i think the introduction of kit has helped her even more that combo is disgusting but here are the best counters so if you're not guessed it charlie is the best shutdown to rosa she shuts down fang and she shuts down the rosa kit combination so incredibly well it's just straight up unfair rosa can hardly do anything the cycling is just insane on charlie yeah as mentioned unfair no way rosa can win that next being ems ems isn't really meta at the moment but i would say that i always look to go ems when i see a rosa it's just really easy to keep your distance even with the speed boost with hypercharge of course that slow down with ems is super is super crucial and of course you got the knockback as well and just the pure damage that you can output onto a Rosa. Fantastic matchup for Ems, always has been. And then the last one being Shelly. So I wouldn't say Shelly shuts down Rosa as great as she would probably a couple of months ago before the super uh, charge nerf. But still, Shelly just melts a Rosa, especially if you've got that hyper charge. There's not much Rosa can do constantly being knocked back. So next up on the counter list, we have Miko. So pretty new brawler to the meta. So it's taken me a little while to kind of get used to how to counter him. Still might be off with a few things. But I think the number one one 
thing has to be definitely hypercharged and I would say tanks. So any sort of aggression really doesn't favor Miko because of course he has such a slow reload speed. I think he has one of the slowest in the game, if not the slowest. And he doesn't have a ton of DPS. So any tankier brawler, he's not going to be able to deal with. He'll definitely need his teammates to help him with those interactions. And that's why people have got this kind of weird image of Miko because a lot of people just play brawl ball and Miko's not good there. So that's where tanks are. Just makes sense. Tanks are a fantastic matchup against Miko. Next one, I would say, I don't know, it's not really like you destroy Miko with his brawler, but it is Mortis. The reason why I like Mortis against Miko is because, of course, you've literally got your main attack just like Miko to uh, dodge attacks, just to get around the map. And it is pretty hard for a Miko to catch up with a Mortis. He has a bit of a faster reload speed. And of course, you've got the gadget to get away from him. So you might not be able to take him down cleanly. But at the same time, it's hardly ever a chance that Miko will be able to kill a Mortis, especially one with brain cells. And then the last one, I think it's Fang. So technically, he's kind of a tank. But whenever I play Fang, I have a good matchup against Miko because you can quickly unload your attack. I think Fang has one of the fastest unloads, if I'm not wrong. It just feels really sweet. And of course, you've got stun as well so if you can quickly catch miko in that combination which people love is attack gadget and then attack straight away you can get some really fast damage so i just think it's really hard for miko to win that matchup okay and lastly on, on the counter list we have ego so i think the awesome glare and weaknesses with ego still you know, can't just play him everywhere. And there are a lot of brawlers that have a pushback or a super that can knock back Edgar. So that's what you're going to be looking for for the most parts. So of course, the best counter, in my opinion, is going to be Maisie. Maisie is a very meta brawler. But whenever I play Edgar, it's near enough impossible to kill Maisie because more often than not, they'll use the extra gadget gear on Maisie with four stuns. It's just really hard to get to, and especially with a super pushback as well. Everything just stuns and pushes back Edgar with Maisie's kit. It's really hard to kill Maisie. I mean, eventually when you wear down the gadgets, you can get kills onto Maisie, but a lot of time a good Maisie can preserve onto those gadgets. Next one being Jackie, so pretty self-explanatory. Unless you've got your hypercharge, you will probably never kill a Jackie because the counter crusher is just too much for an Edgar. There, of course, can be situations you can kill Jackie, but I just never ever recommend, you know, jumping onto a like Jackie or Shelly with super. Of course, it's not going to work out. Then the last one, I would actually say, you know, it's always been a counter. Maybe not so much in this meta, but I would just say it because it's more of an off meta pick. Surge. Surge has always been my go to when I see an Edgar. I mean, with Hypercharge, you probably can manipulate that matchup pretty well, seeing as Surge isn't the best ruler right now. But, you know, typically Surge should be able to free shot an Edgar. Also, you've got the super to, of course, get away or, of course, stun Edgar. It's just really hard for Edgar to win that matchup if Surge has brain cells as well. So, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Let me know whether I missed out on any counters, of course. With a lot of these brawlers just coming to the meta just as of recently, I might not have fully grasped the counter meta but i think for now a lot of these are pretty much bang on so that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time